Now be watching for all the things in the lifter under the bar that you have been coached on today. Good. Stand up a little better at the top, Teddy. There you go. Good. Note the hip drive out of the hole. Note what initiates the movement out of the bottom of the squat. Good. Bracket. Looks pretty good. Tiny little bit more knee forward earlier. Rebound, bounce. Yep, you're gonna think boing. It actually helps, believe it or not. Good, it actually helps. Hip straight up out of the bottom. Up, up hard like that. See how that improved? Hips. Now see that time he, that wasn't as good as number three. Last one. Hips. Drive them up. Straight up. See him try to lift his chest. Now what happened when he tried to lift his chest? What happened to the bar speed when he tried to lift his chest? It cratered, didn't it? Stay in the hips. Okay, let's go. This, this is a universal observation. If you try to lift your chest up out of, the, out of the squat, the bar speed will collapse. Good. Excellent. Good, good, fine young man. Nice set of squats. Go over here. Fix his wrists, that's right. They seldom stay fixed. If the problem is overextension, you can't hardly, you have to beat on these people. Like with tools. You don't have to follow him down. You better stay in your hips. Drive your ass. Get your hands away from the bar. Get your hands away from the bar. Now you're just relaxing at the bottom of that, you know, tight. That's the best one of the set of five. That's the best one of the set. Okay? What'd you do different? What? It was this far below parallel. You got to reset what you think is deep, because you're giving up pounds. Let's go. Narrow your stance about an inch at the heels, good. Let's see if that makes that feel a little more comfortable. Good, you like that better? Or? Yes, sir. Okay, two more. Big bounce out of the hole. Plan your bounce on the way down. Good. Okay. Now, there's other things to worry about, but you're looking straight at the floor and your, thir your cervical spine is in this position here. You'd rather have your chin up so that your neck is in a more neutral position. Okay. Your brother doesn't have to be a chiropractor here in Wichita Falls, does he? Ah, he's a pain in the ass. All right, <clears throat> back over here. Remember me telling you about your knees out too much? Yep. Let them come forward. And they were doing just fine until you got right to the bottom and then they jammed out. Just keep them forward. Much better, much better. Last one. I got a little crooked on that last one. All right, you guys, contrary to popular opinion, your knees 
are not supposed to be shoved out so much that they are outside the plane of your foot. The knee is a, is a hinge joint. It operates in one, I mean, theoretically, it operates in one plane, okay? You don't go here when your toes are pointed like that. It's not good use of the quadriceps. It's not as strong a position. And will it, it will eventually bother your knees quite a bit. So everything gets, operates in a nice straight line like a, like a pair of scissors. Okay, let's go. That was pretty good. Good. Stay in the hip, don't lift the chest. Stay with your ass, stay right there, just like that, good. Just like that. You feel the difference between rep number four and number five? It's a subtle difference. To, to see it, there's not much difference. But you could feel the difference, couldn't you? Go. Excellent. Good. Good set. Very nice. 